Rob Schneider's admiration for the robustness of the American political framework, envisioned by James Madison, which underscores trust in established authorities and governance. But can we just talk a little bit about what happened today outside the courthouse in New yeah. York? Or Robert De Niro, of all people, shows up. And we know he's a Trump hater. We, we got that. But some of the things Yeah, I wasn't say. 100% sure how he felt about Trump, Eric. <laughs> I thought he was kind of on the fence, but frothingly angry. Well, you know, I would say any time that, um, uh, that people use fear-mongering or think like, um, they always say every four years, this is the most important election. This may be the last election, you know. But for him to say today, uh, that he's never going to leave. I mean, he left once. So the evidence is he did leave. Um, I will say that um, we have a very good system. We have uh, the, the, legislature, the legislature, we have the executive, judicial. It's a pretty good system. James Madison came up with it. I don't think any one man or either party, whether even if the Democrats win again, and I hope they don't, but if they do, uh, we're strong enough to survive it. It's just, can we allow another 11 million people to come in and change the the voting habits of this great country. And, and um, we do need immigration. I'm all for it. It just has to be legal. We do need people who want to come in and work. And thankfully, people do want to work. And we need that. However, I believe that uh, the real threat to our system of government, and I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's just it's too, too good of a system to turn into a dictatorship overnight. But if they want to expand the Supreme Court, that's a big problem. I think if they want to also expand, another thing for people out there, don't be so focused on this national election vote local because thankfully we are not a democracy we are a democratic republic so we have our states that are uh that that you can live your life and that's why i moved the heck out of california to move to the slightly freer state of arizona and uh, i'm glad i did and and i just want people to not be so paranoid about this and if you want to get involved get involved with your local school board that's the problem with this new administration as far as if biden the regime of biden because it's not him obviously he's not doing anything i like when newsom went to go meet uh, at the White House. He wasn't even there. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Rob Schneider highlights conservative values aimed at preserving traditional institutions, stressing the importance of individual actions, like participating in local elections and the Board of Education. These activities foster personal responsibility and influence over one's environment and society. His critique of the fear, Mongering and constant emphasis on the importance of every election reflects concerns about how political discourse can manipulate emotions. Schneider advocates for rational and autonomous political participation, free from the anxiety and external pressures of modern life. Regarding immigration, Schneider's conservative viewpoint focuses on maintaining cultural and political stability. He supports legal immigration and the integration of immigrants into the workforce, aspiring for orderly and controlled change. His dismissal of Joe Biden's administration and use of the term regime suggests distrust in current leadership and a belief that true power lies elsewhere. This can be interpreted as a critique of centralized authority and ineffective leadership, highlighting a disconnect between the government and its citizens due to a perceived lack of fidelity in political leadership roles. Schneider's emphasis on local governance over national elections reflects a conservative preference for decentralized power and local autonomy, encouraging individuals to find meaning and influence in their immediate surroundings, rather than being overwhelmed by the broader national political landscape. 